Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about the different types of landforms including plateaus and plains and their types. So plateaus are mainly highlands. They are like mountains but they have got a flat top. There are three types of plateaus. They are intermontane plateaus, pediment or border plateaus and continental plateaus. The first type of plateaus are intermontane plateaus. They are associated with mountains as they are surrounded by mountains on all sides. Intermontane plateaus are basically plateaus which are near the mountains and they are the highest among all the other plateaus of the earth. Some examples are the plateau of Tibet which is also called as the roof of the world is an intermontane plateau which is 4500 meters high. Another such example is the Mexican Plateau which is lying between Eastern and Western Sierra Madre Mountains. The second type of plateaus are the Piedmont or the Border Plateaus. This lies between mountain ranges on one side and plains on the other side. They can be seen on the other side as well. Such examples are Colorado Plateau which lies between the Rockies and the Range Province of USA. And the last type of plateau are the continental plateaus which rises abruptly from the lowlands or they can also rise from the sea. Such examples of continental plateaus are Chota Nagpur Plateau and the Deccan Plateau of India. When the plateaus are very high, the rivers when they are flowing swiftly down the plateaus, they carve deep and narrow valleys like the Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and other rivers of India. They have also worn out deep valleys across the Deccan Plateau. Such plateaus which have got very deep narrow river valleys are called as dissected plateaus. Now let us talk about another type of landform which is called as a plain. So a plain is a level land which is at a lower elevation or height from the sea. Plains are widespread over a larger area and they are simple landforms. Any region which does not have any highland or upland is normally called as a plain. Plains are formed due to denudation and deposition of material which is brought down by the rivers and other agents of erosion. First type of plain is an alluvial plain. An alluvial plain is mainly built because of the deposition of materials which are being brought down by the rivers. As the river valley floods, a lot of material is deposited. Therefore, these plains are also called as flood plains. Deltas, which are also the mouth of the rivers, are where the rivers deposit maximum amount of silt and material. Therefore, these are the regions where alluvial plains are formed. The first example is the Ganga or the Indo-Gangetic Plains of India. Another example that can be given is of the plains of Yangtze Kiang which is in China which basically deposits yellow silt. The next type of plains are the Lacustrine or the Lake Plains. These plains are formed when the lakes are filled with streams and rivers and thus all the material which has been carried down by the streams and the rivers when the streams and the rivers drain into the lakes. Examples are the Vale of Kashmir as well as the Koleru Lake of Andhra Pradesh. All these lakes are water-borne or river-borne. Next type of plains are the Lava Plains. These lava plains are formed when there is volcanic eruption and the lava flows out of the volcano or the fissures and they spread over a larger area and the surrounding regions. Such examples are the lava plains of Iceland. Another type of plains are the glacial plains which are formed because of the action of ice. So during the ice age a large amount of ice or sheets of ice covered huge parts of the earth which has got melted and has formed plains. Such example are the Imphal Basin in Manipur Hills. This is an example of an ancient glacial lake which was initially glaciated and now it's in the form of a lake. Another form of plains are the denudation plains. These plains have been formed because of a prolonged period of erosion by the rivers, the running water, glacier, 
wind and other agents of erosion or denudation. So because the highlands have been continuously eroded and therefore during a long period these plains have been formed. The Hudson Bay region of North America is an example of such kinds of plains which is formed by denudation. And the last type of plains are the coastal plains which are formed along the coastal regions. They are basically of low elevations and they have risen gently from the shore. When the sea water and the waves they deposit materials and thus the continental shelf is risen from the level of the sea then that is called as the coastal plain. Such examples are the long coastlines in the coastal plains of India.